game number two about to start up. Thanks again for everybody supporting Dominant Dominion, and we're gonna be starting up really soon with the matchup. Yeah. Hold on. Ready? I know you can hear me right now. Just making sure that you're ready. I'm ready. Sweet. All right. Sorry about not winning the uh, points card right there, but there you go. Congratulations to that winner. We're gonna be getting the I next game. I kind of wish we had the front page <laughs> so we would have had um like five thousand people. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a lot of lag on me though, unfortunately. But it worked out nonetheless. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Let me go pick this up right quick. Again, Pays Evelyn Child Sword on the purple side this time. Feel the vibe up 1 0 on the blue side right now. Feel the vibe should be really good. I just saw the game name on that. That's very solid. Very solid game name. Um, looking at the bands really quickly from the chat, we do have Nidalee, Cassidy, and Lulu, Kazix being banned off for both teams right over here. Nidalee, Kazix, Kaz, Lulu, not surprising on the bands. Wukong, Jace, and Mumu, KL, Timo, I don't see what the last band, do you know what that is? Um, give me a sec. <laughs> it... Evelyn. Um... Amumu, um, Evelyn, Evelyn. Yeah. Okay, Evelyn. so we have an Evelyn band, not surprising, from PCS as well. Uh, Jace beam man out. Do you think that was a big factor for feed slash... They're the ones that banned out for Pace, Evelyn, Child Support. Do you think that was a really big factor for that game, or did it really not do anything for the team? Um, the Jace was traded for... What was it traded for? It was... Traded for a. It wasn't traded for any obviously strong picks. Yeah. They got an Elise and an Ergot out of it. Yeah, maybe the. No. Yeah, no, not even the Elise. I do not remember the first band. Sorry about that, guys. I know the Kale and the Evelyn band was the same, but the Jace, yeah. It was really interesting to see that actually come out from there. Yeah. Don't know if that's actually going to do anything for... for Darius was up. picked fairly late. Um, yeah. oh, he wasn't early picked. Sorry about that. Had to sneeze for a second. And we have the Urgot pick up right quickly again. For Buddha Rice. This time, Urgot going to be on the other side. <laughs> now Darius could be picked upon. Bird, don't think that's going to be one. Darius, 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 that's a Darius. Not surprising as well. Buddha is actually picking up the Urgot. I'm not surprised the Urgot pick. Do you think it'll work out for the team of Pays Evelyn Child Support? Especially with uh, Zara being picked up as that uh, first pick. Urgot can um, knock out plants very easily. Um, he can slow people for MP to catch them. But we we'll need to see. Yeah, that's definitely a good little combination right over there. I mean, Urgot as a champion, I wish he was a little bit better on the range. Unfortunately, his ranges are pretty small. But then again, if his hyper position kinetic reverser, reverser was actually about the same range it was before, we might be QQing just a little bit too much about the Urgot, unfortunately, in every mode that is in a League of Legends. So, I mean, he's in the nerf state still, but I feel like he still brings a lot to the team. And especially with his EQ combo, the Corrosive Charge on top of the Asset Hunters, they're pretty good. So I, I do feel for that. We do have Half Hearted and Dynoff actually picking up the J4 and the Lease. Not, I mean, kind of a surprise not picking up the Garen as a ban. But then again, I wouldn't want to get, pick up a Garen ban. That's just like giving one free OP pick to the team of Field Vibe. So. Please, Evelyn Childsport, how are they going to respond with the J4 pick up? At least being picked up as well. Do you think that'll be used up pretty much similar the same way? Very um, damagey and then a little bit of tankiness uh, for the bottom lane, or will Half Hearted use it as a top lane kind of pick? Hmm. There's a Leona and a Vi. They seem to be going for a very hard engage here. But there's that Zyra pick, which normally 
if you see them pick Zyra, you wouldn't pick Darius against that. Yeah, because you have a lot of CC. And the only problem with uh, Darius, you get CC to pun for days. You can't actually do damage, so we'll see That's how that will work That's probably out. going to be an attack damage cogmile coming off Thunder Ice. That changes everything. everything. Yeah, yes. you, you don't really see Kog'Maw in Dominion as much, am I right? Yes, yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, I mean, I remember playing Kog'Maw for Dominion, but that was like really early on, and that's when Alyssa Miracle was still being used to cap off from so many points. But um, I'm quite a bit of Kog'Maw, but I'm not quite at the level of these guys. Yeah. That's really yeah. interesting to see the Booberry pick going to be using that Kog'Ma. So we're going to be picking up the Jax. Jax, again, not surprised being picked up. And Armor going to pick the Malphite? No, he's going to be picking up the safety pick of that Malkai. Not surprised because Booberry probably would have picked up that Malkai in, in Steed. I mean, Booberry's Malkai has been pretty strong even though they didn't win that the last matchup. Although, this time, it looks like Pei's Evelyn Child Sport is going to take one from Field of Vive. They're going to have a lot of damage. And they're going to have a bit of tankiness. So mm -hmm. that's what Feel the Vibe had pretty much the last time. And Feel the Vibe now has a lot of tankiness and a bit of damage. So really interesting seeing the uh, trade-offs from both teams right over there. Yes. Um, this is going to be interesting. We see Sauron Jax and quite a lot of anti-Jax power, if that's a Gragas pick. Yeah. We'll see if this actually gets locked in, but I, I don't feel like Gragas should be locked in. Five seconds, maybe? No, I don't know. Um, other than that, the Armor playing the Malachi, I think if that's the last time I've seen Armor, or somebody play Malachi for the team of PECS, not a surprise over there. Malachi is a really safe pick in general, and <clears throat> I really like that pick for sure, and we do see Confidarius. I'm going to be able to pick up that Gragas, which is actually the change for the team of Pays Evelyn Child Support right now. So, Confiterius on the Gragas. Really strong pick, a lot of utility. What do you think about that Gragas pick? Um, his chase is strong. He can initiate with that ultimate and split um, fill the vibes carries from their bruisers. The attack speed slow is very useful. At least Jarvan and Jax all use attack speed. And he's a good sustained bot laner, which is where he might go. Yeah, Confidarius with that bot lane Gragas. Going to be building up a lot of items, per se, until that mid game madness that he is really strong with. That is the Gragas, and that is what the uh, Opa Gragas style man will be able to do. If we can get that mid game, we'll see if that'll actually happen very cleanly for him. Because there is going to be a. I don't think it's Dying Up because it's going to be a bot lane. Probably Sauron bot lane with that Jax, maybe? Because Jax is a could little. Be, um, could be Zyra bot. It could even be Maokai bot. Yeah. Yes. There's a, there's a lot of possibilities. It's probably going to be an AP bot, yes. Yeah. Which would probably put Zyra or Half Hearted down there, which is not a surprise. But again, Zyron's a late game carry as well. Getting that farm on him would be pretty nice. But then again, Counter Strike is a really good ability that locks down people plus it mitigates damage. That's a but no thing. But not damage. Bio Arcane will go through Counter Strike. Ooh. Then and yeah, we'll, we'll see what Zyron will be doing about that. Buddha Rest. Yeah, they're going to see that damage output come from the AD carry yet again. He's going to be building AD, I'm pretty sure, and Buddha Rice... I've not actually seen Buddha Rice lose on attack damage Cogwell. Really? So, yes. this is kind of a dangerous kind of... Well, this is my comfort pick, and we will make sure that we win. Okay. I can see it. Blueberry on the Urgot. What do you feel about that pick? Especially with the Cogma uh, tied up with that. Um... Could be bot um, top. He's he can peel anything with his ultimate. Mm. Um, he's got slows. He's got armor reduction. He's got a lot of damage and a lot of bulk. He can go forward and taunt the enemy if he has to. 
I mean, he is that tanky damage 80 AP, well, not AP care, but 80 tank, pretty much that you would call a or god no matter what. So, unlike the pick, I just don't know how it's gonna work out with the Kogma. But then again, this is what we said about Feel the Vibe last game. I didn't know how the Darius and the Garen worked out, and they squeaked the win. So, will Feel the Vibe do that yet again, or will F Pays Evelyn Child Support? Take it away for this one, and even enough for a one-to-one -one series for the finals of this best of three of Dominion. Dominion number 45. Again, purple side pays Evelyn child support. Please side, feel the vibe. It's L3D with Volandum, and we're rocking this down. Final little minutes, or final minute, little hours, hopefully, maybe, of uh, well, the matchups coming into this. Oh yeah, and we do see a CV yet again for Half-Hearted. I was not going to say anything about that because last game was just exhaust and such like that. Half-Hearted with a CV, um, not a surprise, I, I don't think, anymore. And, and Ignite, <coughs> sorry about that. Ignite for the Darius, not really a surprise as well. Could we see him at bottom lane? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Darius could probably actually bot lane. Um... Well, actually, um, I'd expect Feel the Vibe to send an AP bot because they, um, it's nice to have that double bruiser combo and they do have three APs mm -hmm. on their team. Um, and Elise and Zara both make Darius miserable. CC for days, and that will be the key to, well, hopefully giving the win to Feel the Vibe. On your blue side this time, it is going to be Netorari Man on that lead. Zyra going to play that Half-Hearted. Dynoff going to be playing that J4. Pax Jax on Sauron. And Armor playing the Haunted Maokai. It's L30, and I am only one half the casters here with Volandum. And what do we have on this purple side? Got Infeed on Darius, Butterice on Kog'Maw, Painkiller on Leona, Bubri on Urgot, and Confitarius on Gragas. Confidarius, uh, Darius is, oh wow, Confidarius is the new person coming in from the game number one. We'll see how much energy difference oh, back there. Oh, I heard Panzer's got his curfew lifted for uh -huh. today. So he could have played. <laughs> ah. Hmm. 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 Confidarius, not really a unknown in the scene. I mean, he's played enough with Pays Evelyn Child Support, so I mean... He'll be fine to be putting it in. Will it actually change up this matchup? I don't know. What do you think about Panzers? Uh, can he change it out? I mean, did he play? He played a pretty good J4 the first game, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to assume that he is just tired. Yeah, and just just done with the day. Well, you know, mm. being picked up, I didn't really talk about that as well. I mean, supports in Dominion really strong, so I'm not surprised about that. Uh, we're seeing Blueberry maybe going bot. We'll, we'll see if that actually is going to be happening. Uh, we have we've, Netarari Man maybe going bot. We've not actually seen any um, supports from the high level games today though. Mm -hmm. Lulu used to be very, very popular and, well, she's been banned, admittedly. Yeah, unfortunately. And we did see the Lulu pick up in the first round. But after that, yeah, we haven't seen Lulu at all. And Kogma is not buying any items, so that, that's pretty strong. I feel like that and Jax are doing the same thing. Uh, Kogma has a lot of damage off his passive in early game fights. But to not buy items, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. And you guys are <laughs> picking over that bottom lane, maybe going to go with bot against Urgot with items, and yeah, we're going to have. Pretty much the same startup, easily usual startup for the teams, and yeah, Siren's going to go down there without items. How brave, how brave right now. I'm <laughs> going to assume that he would have, he's going down there so he can choose to itemize differently against really? either Gragas or Urgot. That makes sense. Hopefully. I, ho I hope we just did not forget everything about items, but probably going to be that. No Jack's if he actually be. goes and all in Zergot without any items, I will be very surprised. <laughs> we'll see what will happen. Actually, Jax, is he going to go? Yeah, he is going to go against the pun. Forgot that. No, actually, he's just going to try to farm him. 
You do see some engagement coming out over here. Pink Kelly taking a lot of damage from the start. Half hearted got a lot of poke over there. He's gonna try to finish up the kill. Nether Iron Man with that at least. It is gonna be Darius gonna pick up the first blood over there. Now MP is gonna take a lot of damage. Gonna go right onto armor. MP now coming right back onto it. We'll see if they can finish it up. Armor taking a lot of bit of poke from the plants and Enfeed is going to be able to get out of there. We see Jax finally just building up items he's going to go back and Cafeteria is now in a little bit of trouble over there. But Pays up on Child Support, um, they have a lot of control right now over in this top lane. They just have a dying up in the middle of everything and Enfeed in a little bit of trouble just getting kited all around. Dragon Strike should be enough but dying up does not go for that and now it's going to get apprehended upon all oh, the Dragon Strike mix. And now Dynop in a little bit of trouble, the that Masu and Stan are going to be able to pick up the kill. Now Pinkel, they're 2v1 over here. Do you see the Gragas going to go fall down, and now Armor going to be taking the pot. Going to try to sapling toss and hit Budarus. When they'll still be in a really aggressive upon, but Urgot over in bottom lane in the meantime has got that kill. And that means that the windmill is going to be in a little bit of trouble. They're going to be taking down over inside, and Confederia is coming off from the side yet again. Armor going to take it onto that Kog'Maw. Kog'Maw going to get the Ithacan surprise. The attacks are going to be Duncan going to be picking up the kill. And that Confederia is not going to be able to regress upon. Enfy gets poked away from the Reptile, but it is going to be Enfy taking up the kill. And Windmill finally going down pays Evelyn child support. Yeah, that was a lot of a big fill, but what happened over at bottom for Star to actually lose a matchup against Blueberry? I think um, the lane was too pushed, which, mm -hmm. um, so to fight her, got, he does normally want to go deep, but um, there was probably too much in the way of minion aggro. Blueberry yet again getting another kill. That reduction for hyper position can ever reverse it was ridiculous. And Blueberry just picks up another one on there. Jax might be in a little bit of trouble. Um, we'll see if they respond with yes. this by J4 responding down the bot. Dino and Blueberry now talking to each other. We do see the uh, Demosnia go in. Demono, will he actually pick up the kill on the Blueberry? I don't think he will actually finish it up. Blueberry going to get the pick up. And is Blueberry going to actually kite out on Dino? Oh my gosh, he does actually pick up that last little bit. Will Blueberry actually try to cut down from the sapling toss? Yes, he will be able to get out of there. Armor gonna try to go aggressive on the Blueberry. Is Armor gonna go for this fountain dive? I don't think so. It's just the sapling toss that's uh, gonna go take that down. Uh, it's unfortunate to die down from there. Sauron now over in top lane. Gonna try to get down on Confiterius, but Confiterius with that shield relic is gonna be able to resustain and stay up over there. Windmill still being taken upon, but the thing is, pays Evelyn Child Support. We do have that Burning Yard being taken upon, so. We're going to see Leona try to regain that balance over there and be able to get that point in problem. But we do have a lot of aggression coming up over the windmill. Can Buddha Rice and Confiterius at least delay it long enough for the team? It does not even look like the team pays up on Child Sports and actually go up on there. And we're going to see a buff going down for the team of Feel the Vibe. We do have Buddha Rice just engaged to pump by Dinov. And we're going to see the kill pretty much from the team Sauron and Buddha Rice. Saying, yeah. Um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. And great job to take up a really early objective for Feel the Vibe to probably get them back in this game a little bit. Yep. Um, but the Rice's very early Berserk has actually helped him quite quite a bit there. He has two six. He does have a lot of assists, which is ridiculously good. And especially for AD carry, you need to get a lot of gold early. So not a surprise from there. Yeah. Although, this is a very dangerous time for Infeed. I don't know if he's going to get out of this. We have Confiterius using the Explosive Cast to get everybody out. But yeah, Infeed's going to be taking down really quickly. Sauron, a lot of damage coming out from him. He's going to be able to sustain a little bit longer. Half Heart are going to re engage now. Plants going down. Is that going to be enough to. Yeah, Strangle Thorns going to go up, and Boo Bear going to take that first death right down there. And we do see the re engage and Netarari Man going to go on to Painkiller, but Painkiller is going to go back away. Meanwhile, Buddha Rice. Free farming, which is never a good thing for a cogma, but also trying to get around and take down this windmill. Yeah. He's got an even more speed now with the zeal. That is very key. Painkiller now going off to half hearted, gonna get the Zeta Plate, but goes right onto Sara. Sara now goes re engages on Painkiller. Painkiller does not have any shields, does not have anything, but has exhaust. Exhaust for exhaust going down, and now Buddha Race is in a little bit of trouble. Sara gonna go right back onto it, but Painkiller gonna be able to get killed from Sara. Now we're gonna see the kite. Buddha Rice is gonna be taken down, but Sara is gonna get out of there. Gonna try to jump out. 
cannot, but is going to go mitigate enough of that damage from if it can surprise for a <laughs> counter strike. I don't that think that actually works out. So no, I guess it he shouldn't just, work. <laughs> I guess he just got lucky from that Envied and Dynov. Dynov does have a lot of blade stacks, so Envied's just saving the day, just staying around on the windmill. Unfortunately, three cap to two right now. Feel the vibe, doing a pretty good job. Three cap to one right now. And Comfortarius, can he pick up the kill onto Elise? Yes, he will secure that with one barrel roll. Now we can see Infeed and Dynov over in top lane and try to fight off each other windmill. The point is not really being contested fun, but the damage output is going to be enough. Dynov going to be taken off from the side. And we do see Darius taken off as well. Sauron going to go right on the painkiller, going to get stunned down from the shield of Daybreak. And Sauron now going to go try to get this windmill point finally secured for the team of Feel the Vibe while Pay Zeppelin and Child Support will finally pick up their own point over in the bottom right. We'll see if the bunny rat actually gets captured. I feel like, yeah, maybe it will not, unfortunately. Yes. And meantime, the quarry is actually neutralized as well. So a lot of action. Where do you think yeah. most of everything is going to be focused on, if anything, for this action for Pay Zeppelin and Child Support? Um, I mean, they're really aggressive right now. They have a lot of control. They're the probably going to try to clean up top. Bot they're going to pull off from, and you can see that happening now. Half-hearted now, going to try to go against Budarest. Budarest gets out of the String of Thorns, and Half-hearted is pretty much dead and gone. You see the decimate, but Budarest actually going to get hit by the the, the damage output. No, it's going to go on to Envy instead, and Budarest will be able to get the windmill. Um, yes, Cogmouse using his range to clear out plants quite nicely early there. And Gragas' attack speed slow is quite nasty against the bruisers. As is Darius is. And we do oh, see Comfort Darius gonna be taken down right quickly from the Cataclysm. We see Infi gonna be taken out as well from Netarari Man. Is Kogma back up there? No, he is gonna be rushing back as fast as he can and Netarari Man gonna start to take on the windmill. Painkiller just kinda of walks all the way up there. Make sure that there is a little bit of defense coming over there. This Leona is going to be really strong. Can she actually land all the engagements so that Brutal Reds can just safely, well, kill the team of Field Vibe? We'll see. But do you see the Eclipse going down? Netarai Man is going to be the first one taken down right quickly. Brutal Reds gets in there. But Sauron does get the Leap Strike and it is going to be enough damage to take him out. Brutal Reds cannot do anything else. And now Dynaf in a little bit of trouble. Can he get out from the Ithacan Surprise? No, he will not. But half hearted comes right back in. Gets pulled upon by Enfeed. Apprehend getting go down. And half hearted is dead and gone. Dunkeridge coming in. Enfeed gets that down. Great shot from there. And unfortunately, missing that shot at the end for that Zyra. Meanwhile, over at bottom, Blueberry now facing against Armor to feel the vibe. Um, Blueberry's been doing a pretty good job. 4 3 2. Has a lot of good items. It's looking pretty well for him. Yes, he's farmed up over a thousand more than any enemy. He's and at it. seven thousand now. No <laughs> one on the other Viper has six thousand. Half hearted what... doesn't even have five thousand. We'll see what Booberry actually picks up. He picks up a pickaxe. He has a Pro really interesting Last build. Whisper, I think. Yeah, there's there's a lot of damage output, but right now it's not even all there just yet. But once he actually finishes up at least one of these items, I mean, Glacial Shroud is ridiculously big for him. It's looking dangerous. It's looking very dangerous mm. for this bottom lane. Oh, Netarari Man split off oh, from the Glacial Shroud. Dragus Ultimate. Yeah. Yep. The Count Fatarius is going to be taking a lot of damage and he's going to be taking down. Brutal Rest now is going to be the target. That's not the shield, so he's actually defending a lot of the damage and dying off and everybody trying to dive in on it. Cannot actually finish up. Netarari Man tries to get a cocoon onto Buddha Rice. Buddha Rice is not going to be the target, but Netarari Man cannot repel onto that. And we do see Infeed finish up over in there on top lane, does not actually catch up in J4. And now Half Hearted and Infeed are going to try to talk to each other. Can they actually finish up any kills? They will not. And then there were only two pretty much trying to defend two over at top lane. Windmill, yes, yet again, another constellation point because it's an actual objective as well. We'll see if they actually try to take that. Meanwhile, over in bottom, Booberry is going to get ganked upon. Sar going to go in, get that leaf strike, get the counter strike. Now we do see the twisted advance and the eventual mouse from the use. We're going to see the get away from Booberry, but it's not going to be enough. Meanwhile, over at top, we do see a kill. J4 going to go down, and now Comfortaria is going to be picked up from the last little bit of plant damage. And what we were saying about before with Booberry, you know, clearing the plants before really easily. 
they they yeah. haven't done that really well um lately okay he was a little out of position for that yeah. fight i think which was unfortunate and Budapest has been taking a lot of aggression and i think yeah. that's the key that the vibe is really doing like as long as they keep up the pressure on Budapest, they can't really do too much considering his bad start sauron's managed to make it to eight and four <laughs> And once he switched over to top, he just picked up a lot of uh, easy kills, I feel like. And yeah, Sauron, one of the oldest people in that Dominion kind of standard. He's been a pretty, doing a pretty good job. Great Confiterius, all supposed to cast, picking up a kill onto the least. Now Sauron comes right back, and Confiterius is in a lot of bit of trouble. Can he get out of there? Do you see the Yomas Ghost Play getting these online? Now we see the ultimate being used by Zyra to just clear out the way of Minima. If it can surprise him, he will try to pick away from Dynoff. No, no, just chilling over in the background, does not get it killed anywhere. Gonna get onto there. Dragon Strike actually did not repel into it. And NP now gonna go right onto Dinoff. Don't know Lock how. Lockets almost saved him. Yeah, I don't know how that actually worked out. Or he did no damage, but there you go. Half hearted, not gonna get put down. Pincered out by that Leona. And we will see Confiterius actually pick up this point over in the top. Finally getting the windmill. But 320 to 195 on the kill score. Feel the vibe. Could be looking at a loss right now. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, we, we called it a little too early, or I called it a little bit too early last time. And we'll see if that actually will happen. Sorry, now going to back cap. Going to pick up the Boneyard away from Pays Up on Child Support. It's going to be a 3v3 there. Oh, Buddha Rice can, is in right. so much trouble, but there. Our all wasn't in position to engage, so which yeah. meant that it's pretty much wasted. Yeah, it's unfortunate, and now we do see Sauron going off on the side, but great I'm ultimate. Bolted right out. Hyper yeah. position kinetic position, getting Buddha Rice to safety as well. Very, very smart play from Pay Devil and Child Support. Now we see Booware going over right onto Sara, and Sara gonna take a little bit of poke damage. And we're gonna see MP come out from the side. We do see the ultimate being used. Just to half -hearted. disengage that fight, yeah. Yeah, but it is looking like Booware is gonna be taking down. Oh, nope. another locket. It is not gonna be down, and now we see armor and everybody just backing away from there. Feel the vibe can't do too much, and unfortunately, we'll see if they can catch up. We do have. A back cap versus the back cap, but the thing is, Sarn is there to defend. Painkiller off on the side. Can he actually fix up the back away? Don't think so. Painkiller gonna re engage and unfortunately fall down to the demise of that Zyra. I mean, to that um, Elise. You see Buddha Rice being taken out really quickly. And feed in the same way. Gonna be taken out really quickly between Sarn and Armor. Sarn gonna be able to pick up the kill. 10 5 and 2. Those, that double locket of behind Solari is surprisingly strong. Um, I mean, people know it's extremely cost efficient, but it takes a bit of realizing how strong it actually is. It's ridiculous as well because they can stack kind of like if you have one escapade after the other, you'll have about a 400 damage buffer shield, which is, well, again, a ridiculous amount of shielding. So. Just for one person, especially for Squishy, it's ridiculously good. And we do see another kill. Booberry and Buddha Rice just working as a team on top of that pink killer doing a pretty good job. But we do see Field of Vibe actually retake the top point right now. Can they finish up the kill? We'll see. Garrison gonna be used to hold off onto this point for a little bit longer with Buddha Rice and everybody else on the team of Phase Devil and Chess Force says, please get out of the way. We are not gonna let you have this point. Armor comes in, gonna use that stepping toss to try to dissuade the team, but cannot finish up the kill. We do see the hit reposition, can I reverse it? Use for armor to get away into the turret, and unfortunately, you're gonna be paying the kill. Base Evelyn Child Support picks up the quarry, and now we'll see if Confidarius can actually 2v1. Right, we're in top lane. What is Zyra about to gank from the side? Half Hearted gonna go in, gonna get the Grassman Roots, actually misses that, but it gets the enough damage with the Strangle Thorn, so that's always good, but that was an interesting miss from that Tangler Roots, unfortunately not gonna be able to keep the kill. On the other hand, we do see a kill over in bottom lane, Boo Rare, pick up the kill on the J4. Lots of action going on right now, another little bit of damage up put onto Infeed, and we do see the Zyra being taken down. Oh, almost walked onto that sapling, and we'll see if Infi can actually get out of this little sticky situation between Netherrion Man and Vegas. Going back to his turret over top lane, actually not his turret, 
it's not gonna work. Oh, all the Eclipse is missing offline now. Painkiller getting chased upon. Can Painkiller actually finish up the kill onto Nether Iron Man? I don't think so, and I think Nether Iron Man can actually turn this. But we'll actually see. Meanwhile, I think Hands of Pride is being used. Unfortunately, yes. I can pick up the kill. Nether Iron Man's uh, W stain is pretty strong because his spiders can attack while he's stunned. I think Nether Iron Man was just playing with that Leona for the whole time. Yes, Leona's a pretty strong duelist, but uh, it takes a little bit to actually get some kills with that Leona. So you see the hyper position connect reversal yet again, Booberry just manning up and taking down that Sara, no problem. I think also the Hex Trigger had something to say about that, but still, no problem with that. Great job by that Booberry. And now we're gonna see Armor come right back on to Confiterius, Confiterius. And Nether Iron Man are the additions, but they are pretty low from this one, so I don't think they're gonna be able to take out the kill for Pays Evelyn Child Support. Pump Darius is gonna be backing away from this, so they're just kinda try to kite this down. Now I'm getting caught off from the side. Can they actually pick up the kill off of that blueberry? Not gonna re gauge the five. The rest of the charge going down, and we're gonna see the Astral Hunter. Ooh, that was so much burst damage with explosive cast. Very, very good stuff. And meanwhile, over top, Dinoth and Buddha Rest will be talking to each other. It is gonna be Buddha Rest going down, but it's a one for one. Quite a bit right now. Half hearted coming off on the side. It's gonna be enough to get the kill. End feed in a little bit of trouble. It's half hearted, half anything else to give. It is now looking like it. And well, Painkiller uses Solari and makes sure that Solari gets that kill. Great job by Painkiller picking up the kill onto the Zyra. Infeed now going to be able to pick up the Windmill and finally will take that down for PECS. But in the meantime, we're going to see Saren try to backdoor this onto Blueberry. Saren now going to take that damage. Oh, does yeah. dive. Yeah. <laughs> I means Counter Strike is a really strong ability, and, and even though yeah. you have Urgot, it, it doesn't really matter if you can't attack, unfortunately. Yeah. In feed right now, armor. What can you do? We see Confiterius taking a little bit of damage on the armor. Armor gets blocked upon again. Confiterius with that Gragas. Holy jolly, there's a lot of damage up, but, but so much good positioning from there's as close to cast. Buddha Rice doing his best double up impression. Unfortunately, not going to be enough to try to save him out from all of that kiting. And now Netherari Man and Dinoff should be able to pick up the skill on, on Pinkeller. Pinkeller uses the garrison to try to get some more points back. Darius might get the cleanup though. Yeah, Nidorari Man does get some CC, cannot finish anything off. But the biggest thing is they defend the point, and that's all they needed to do. Especially with 35 points left for Field of Eye, they are in a big dangerous situation. Although they have some aggression coming up for the Boneyard, I don't think they can do really too much else on this. Infi is taking a lot of damage from Dinov. Dinov doing a really good job. Can he finish up onto the kill? We will see Nidorari Man off on the side. Get a little bit more poke. Feed is going to be There's able to kill, get a kill. But Leofner is up and just executes with the um, solar flare. Great job by that Leona. Meanwhile, we're at bottom. So much action coming up on the side. We do see a double kill coming up from Confiterius. And now we can see Boo is probably take over the point. Confiterius is going to try to back cap this point, but at least he's going to have to respond to this. Nidorari Man going to get the kill. Oh, the cocoon barely missing off online. And Confiterius is going to back away from this. Barrel wall going to be used and the damage will push to be enough. We do see Painkiller and Dinoff actually dueling. Who will actually come out alive? We will see Painkiller actually being seen. From the Spectral Lantern, and they did damage a little bit more. It's going to clear the wave and push it up over the top lane. PECS a little bit up right now, but they are now 2 cap versus the 3 cap of the team of Field of Vibe. Will Field of Vibe actually keep it up? We will see in feed coming up, taking down the windmill. Is it going to be enough to actually dissuade that J4, who is actually just half relic? Half back hearted up. is pincered and dead, yeah. Yeah, half hearted is done and done. Unfortunately, it does take a lot of the ultimates. And it is going to be in feed, and everybody else is not going to be going there, but not Buddha Rice is going to be able to just kite it down as well. They're going to be in is there going to be enough damage on that? It's locked down by the CC. Yeah, it's not looking like it's an armor, it's just taking too much damage as well. And uh, yeah, we are looking like it's going to be a clean sweep cleanup for this era top lane, and it's PCS going to be taking out the windmill. The little blueberry and everybody else do enough to keep up with the advantage. Ooh! Blue. Literary landed the sun on blueberry.
And a great Smith. escape through the repel that Orion Man does get seen from the sweeper. Ooh, great explosive cast. Still gonna meet this video late in Orion Man. But here comes Sauron right back onto it. Comes Potarius is gonna be taken out so fast. Great job by Sauron. Picking up that cleanup kill. Can he actually get to the turret? and actually finish it up. Nope, there's a laughing in feed off on the side, making sure that it does not matter. In feed now didn't do enough damage, but the exhaust is not going to be enough. You cannot exhaust that man who does true damage. Like you see over the top lane, still a lot of aggression, I think it's press, and the Zyra going to be doing down over there. Envy taking a lot of damage, armor, can he finish the kill? No, deforestation yet again, and Envy goes back into this. 18, 9, and 10, one of the biggest contributors for this game right now, has enough damage to win out. For Pay's Avalon Child Support, win out the second game. Unless they can get this neutralized, oh no, <laughs> Gragas ultimate interrupts. Oh, Competarius, you are so, so strong right now. Yeah. Well, that Kog'Maw... Uh, Kog'Maw just really changes the whole pressure of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that and also every explosive cast we actually saw, ridiculous amounts of goodness coming up from both of them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sauron getting a bit behind early game didn't help either in the lane against Ergot. Yeah, especially in that beginning go. And when Sauron actually had to come back up to top lane, Ergot pretty much just kept on pushing, I think, and that was big. You should have an invite from Infeed now. Uh, my client actually closed, so I will get back onto that in just a second. Okay. Yeah. Game three, let's go. Rudas, Gragas, and A. That is what Armour says. So I, I can agree with that. Gragas was a pretty good pick. Cafeterias with a really uh, safe uh, pick for himself. I, I can see that. That's pretty good. And Dynov. You know, one thing. Dynov has been a really good duelist into all this. Um, Dynov is a really strong player in Domain right now. I like what he's doing, especially with all... <laughs> All the things that he does with uh, the Garen pick, that was very cute to see. Let's see, in feed. I think I got it. Perfect. Cool. Alright, guys, we're going to go be right back. I'm going to hit up a minute 30 of commercials. We'll be right back. This is Dominate Dominion number 45 L3 ID with the one, the only, Vet Latin. Be right back, guys. <laughs> 